Good evening and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has presided over a high-level virtual open debate of the UN Security Council. Now, this makes him the first Indian Prime Minister to preside over a UNSC open debate. The agenda for the UNSC meet was enhancing maritime security. The Prime Minister of India opened the UNSC debate with several world leaders in attendance. Addressing the gathering, Prime Minister Modi advocated for a peaceful settlement of maritime disputes and professed an encouragement to responsible maritime connectivity. As a solution to the looming threats and challenges, India presented a five-point agenda for enhancing maritime cooperation, removal of maritime trade barriers which can threaten the global economy, peaceful resolution of maritime disputes in accordance with the international law, fight threats of natural disasters and non-state actors, conservation of maritime resources by removing all the pollutants and by pushing back against overfishing and marine poaching, and finally, promoting responsible maritime connectivity to boost trade. This month, structure to give structure, I पांच मूलभूत सिद्धांत रखना चाहूंगा पहला सिद्धांत हमें मैरिटाइम ट्रेड में बैरियर्स हटाने चाहिए हम सभी की समृद्धि मैरिटाइम ट्रेड के सक्रिय फ्लो पर निर्भर है इसमें आई अड़चनें पूरी वैश्विक अर्थव्यवस्था के लिए चुनौती हो सकती है फ्री मैरिटाइम ट्रेड भारत की सभ्यता के साथ अनादि काल से जुड़ा हुआ है हजारों वर्ष पहले सिंधु घाटी सभ्यता का लोथल बंदरगाह समुद्री व्यापार से जुड़ा हुआ था the meeting saw several leaders, including the heads of Russia, Niger, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Vietnam, high-level briefers from the UN system, and key regional organizations also addressed the debate. The president of Russia has suggested to build a special structure to fight maritime crimes. The situation is aggravated by the fact that some countries cannot fight against transnational crime syndicates, pirates and terrorists on their own. That is why we are discussing the issues of uniting under the aegis of the UN the capacities of special services and relevant armed contingents of all interested states. Russia is prepared to share our experience of anti-terrorist operations, crime prevention, identification and neutralization of crime gangs, including those operating in maritime areas. Meanwhile, the U.S. Secretary of State uh, took to the opportunity to highlight the dangerous activities in the South China Sea, calling China's behavior unlawful. Uh, let me just speak, if I could, specifically to some of the critical areas where we see maritime rules and principles under threat. In the South China Sea, we have seen dangerous encounters between vessels at sea and provocative actions to advance unlawful maritime claims. The United States has made clear its concerns regarding actions that intimidate and bully other states from lawfully accessing their maritime resources. And we and other countries, including South China Sea claimants, have protested such behavior and unlawful maritime claims in the South China Sea. Anthony Blinken spoke about the South China Sea incident in the presence of China at the UNSC debate. And when the floor was given to China, it chose to hit out at America, claiming that Secretary Blinken's speech is politically motivated. Our correspondent, Susan Tefani, has sent us a report on this from New York. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken taking part at the United Nations Security Council high-level virtual meeting on maritime security hosted by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi thanked India for the initiative and noted that despite maritime law and order, the safety and security of international waters remain at risk. In a clear reference to Beijing, he called for international cooperation regarding countering uh, the unlawful 
maritime claims in the South China Sea. He noted that while some might say it's not America's business, it is, and any unlawful activity in any waters will have international consequences. China, for its part, accused America of creating a rift among regional countries, saying that the UN Security Council is not a suitable venue to discuss the South China Sea. On other issues, the U.S. Secretary of State mentioned Iran for allegedly attacking a tanker in the Persian Gulf in late July. He says that the international community should not stand idle and that Iran will be punished. He also reiterated his condolences for the two crew members who lost their lives. Regarding Ukraine, he offered his support and America's support for its territorial waters. Susan Tehrani from New York at the United Nations. We on World is One. We on now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.